What is up YouTube? It's Kuda Malo here coming at you with another exciting video and in this one I'm basically showing everybody how I season my Pathfinder folding 8 inch skillet. I just got these things yesterday, took them out of the box. I basically scrubbed them in the sink with some barkeeper's friend just to clean them up and then uh, what I do is I washed them, rinsed them. Now I threw them on the burner. I cooked up three slices I guess three half slices of bacon in each pan, uh, just to make sure that I got all the fat rendered out. This is what the bacon looks like afterwards. So yeah, it's a little toasty and crispy. Still edible, by the way. I would totally eat this. Uh, but basically, I'm trying to render out that bacon fat. And then what I did was, I took the bacon out of the pan and added basically uh, something like a quarter or a half a cup of a red onion chopped up like you see right here. And then using my wooden spatula, basically moving the onion around to scrape up. See those little sticky bits? Uh, the red onion has an enzyme or some kind of protein in it that basically bonds to those sticky bits and lifts them up out of the pan. And at the same time, uh, the bacon made this beautiful color right here that you see right there. So this really, to me, is the best way to season either a stainless steel pan that you're going to use for backpacking, camping, whatever, uh, and also to season a carbon steel pan if you had one of those. Uh, but it really is the best, me best method. And as you can see, this onion now is really sliding and moving around. A lot of those sticky bits have come up off of the pan. So I'm on really low heat. That's another little trick is make sure you're on low heat. So there's low, medium, and high. I'm on really, really, really low heat. As you can see, as you can see, really, really, really low heat. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to end this video probably right here. Uh, but I just wanted to show you that it's the whole step in the process is wash your pan, clean it, dry it out with a towel, put it on the stove, get some bacon in your pan. You know, the, these pans are about the size of like maybe two, two full slices of bacon that I cut in half and then cook that, render that down so it gets to this crispy stage right here. Then add about a quarter of a cup of red onion or onion, Maui onion, yellow onion, scallions, makes no difference as long as it's in the onion realm. Cook those onions until they reach this same color of darkness. That should help to really season your pan. I did not have to add any extra oil. I didn't have to have the smoke fest. I know some people do that. I did not do the oven thing where you you stick it in your oven at 500 degrees for yet. Don't have to do any of that. This honestly for me is the best way to season the pan to make it as non. I mean, look at that. <laughs> I mean, look at that. All that all that bacon grease in there is helping to move these onions around. And uh, always use a wooden a wooden implement to move the stuff off the off your pan, like not plastic. I think plastic or Teflon would probably melt anyways. Uh, so just a nice wooden spoon, just move, keep everything moving every once in a while. And seriously, that's the best method for me. So stay tuned, I'll be back with another video to show you how I'm gonna cook up some eggs over easy, show you that process, uh, and I'll catch you on the next one. There is a like button down below. I'd also appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button. Cooter Malloy, stay tuned for part two of this pan seasoning process.